new North Carolina law may help cut down on wait times at doctor's offices. It'll allow pharmacists to take on more health care roles. House Bill 96 allows pharmacists to administer injections and provide medications like birth control over the counter. News Channel 12's Lucy Nelson spoke with a state representative, Wayne Sasser, and a professor in gynecology. She's joining us now live with more on the story. And Lucy, what are they saying about this? Frank, both men tell me they believe the new policies, most of which go into effect in March, are a major step forward in breaking down the barriers in access to health care. Access to care is, is um, just, just so important. Representative Wayne Sasser, a licensed pharmacist, initially filed Bill 96 in the House to expand accessibility to health care for those struggling with mental health disorders. They can come in and say, you know, I need my 30 day shot for my mental health, you know, disease, uh, you know, where it's depression or, or uh, schizophrenia or whatever's being treated and, and they get that one shot and then they're good for 30 days. He says as the bill progressed, more items were added to expand health care access of various types in places where it's harder to get in our state. We wanted to say how how can we get health care to people that need it? that don't have access and if you live in Newburn, then you know anything east of I-95 is, is a depressed area and especially for health care. Beginning in March and with some extra training, pharmacists will have the ability to administer FDA approved drugs, including AIDS injections, prenatal vitamins and nicotine replacement therapy and even over the counter birth control pills. I checked in with Dr. Keith Nelson, professor and program director in obstetrics and gynecology at Viden and ECU, who tells me he thinks this is a great step forward in healthcare accessibility for all. I think for the medical community in our state, um, our pharmacy colleagues have always been critical teammates in delivering excellent care. Uh, we, we trust uh, them with our patients' lives and uh, the, the work that they do every day, so I look forward to seeing what the final product um, looks like. The bill has already made it legal for pharmacists to administer vaccinations like the COVID-19 vaccine and prescription medications and those injections will be made legal to administer starting in March. Reporting live from Craven County, I'm Lucy Nelson with News Channel 12.